When my son was diagnosed with autism, Evan wouldn't look at me, he wouldn't respond to me, he wouldn't talk, he wouldn't say mama, he wouldn't smile, he didn't want me to hold him. And I thought it was important to share with Donnie these moments, even though they're so hard to talk about. The first time he had a seizure, he was two, and um, I had a weird feeling that morning. And in mom's intuition, I said, Evan never sleeps in this, this late. And I decided to go to his room and walk down the hallway. And then I started running down the hallway. And I burst open the door. And I looked in the crib, and he was seizing. And I picked him up, and his eyes rolled back. And he was convulsing and trying to get a breath. And then three weeks later, it happened again. Except this time, he wasn't trying to breathe. He stopped breathing. And then that's when he went into cardiac arrest. Yeah. He was gone. His eyes dilated, and I just waited for the paramedics to come. Then Evan came back like a little warrior. What do you have to do when you're through? <laughs> Baby. Baby. Oh. When Donnie says to me, Why do you seem so tough? And why do you seem so strong? And all the time, where's like the vulnerable side? You know, I think after going through an experience like this, you are tough. There's not much that can knock me down. I've got, you know, an armor and a sword. I feel like a warrior now. I think of a parent like Jenny, a single mom, you know, having a child who's diagnosed with autism. Um, that's something that when you're staring that in the face, a diagnosis like that in a situation like that, um, you know, you either succumb to the fear and you crumble or you suck it up and you dig in. And uh, Jenny dug in. Baby. Mm.